in this video, there are spoilers about the radius, so just keep that in mind if you're watching. Hey there, how's your day going? So the Desert Eagle, a highly overlooked gun in my opinion, and also highly hated on for not that good of a reason. I actually am a pretty big fan of this gun. Uh, I like the way it performs in the game. Even though you can't suppress it, it's got a ton of recoil. It's still a really heavy hitting bullet. I mean, it's it's like you just grab the scar and you just shove it into a bullet form and you get the Desert Eagle. I mean, even though it's only got nine bullets, it's really not that bad. And especially for a handgun, I think it's really good. So starting off with some basic stats, uh, 100 damage, FMJ, 80 copper hollow point. It has nine bullets plus one in the magazine, I mean chamber. Uh, the buy cost is $5,500. The sell cost is $1,375. The repair cost is 2723 and the weight is 1.8 kilograms. So this gun is secured at level four, which I think is a little bit too high for it. And especially since it's $5,000, I think you should either A, just buy a motion if you didn't find one, or B, save up for a different security level gun that you uh, are looking to get. Because, especially, I mean, this thing is a sidearm, it's not even a primary, and it's a, it's only a thousand less than the M4. So, I would hold off to buy it, and I should I think you should get it after, maybe, I don't know, something like the Kids Playground mission. Just something, like, extra to have. It's not, you don't need it, and I think the Glock 18 is overall just better. One thing I want to say real quick in this clip with the uh, operation fade up in Holocaust is I was using Hollow Point just because I didn't feel like buying FMJ because it is only $10 less than 308, which is absurd, but whatever. Just letting you know now. So as I just said earlier, uh, I'm, a, I'm a pretty big fan of the Deagle. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a sidearm and I still think it's great. Uh, it has like about shotgun range in my opinion. I mean, the iron sights on it are awful i i didn't use a sight mainly because i wasn't thinking uh and i just wanted to show you again raw aim um do not use the iron sights just slap a holographic if you have to on this thing i mean it's they're atrocious i i couldn't seem to line up half my shots and later in my shooting range clip you'll see me trying to aim high aim low i couldn't figure them out from what i noticed it shot like halfway through the front notch but i don't even know about that so earlier I mentioned how the Deagle does 100 damage uh, with FMJ, and you might be thinking, oh, I mean, that's the same damage as the Scar, and it's like half the price. Why wouldn't you get this thing? Yeah, it does the same exact damage with like one-fourth of the range, half the magazine size, and like half the customizability. And also, you can't even suppress it, which, again, that's why I'm saying I wouldn't even use this thing in Conkaz in the first place unless you're trying to run around pretty much every enemy is going to be running towards you. I know it sounds like I'm kind of trashing on the Deagle right now, and believe me, I'm not trying to, but it's one of those guns where if you don't know how to use it right, it's going to get you killed a lot of times. I mean, the fact that you can't suppress this thing and it's the loudest pistol in the game, that's obviously a problem. Um, so enemies are going to be running at you. So I would say that if you know that you have pretty good aim, I would get this thing. Uh, don't use it long ranges because you're not going to hit anything. You can get a plus 10 uh, accuracy upgrade, but even then, it's it's not going to do that much. And again, it's a pistol. You can't even use the virtual stock on it. So Now, with all that garbage talk on this thing, let's talk about how this thing can make you feel like a living god. If you have two of these things, you're doing an Operation Cleanup in Balot Key. Enemies are going to be dropping Niagara Falls out of their backside. You can just one, two, one, two, quick reload, and then you're doing the same thing. I mean, it's not only is it fun, but like you're not even going to do that bad. I mean, as long as you have somewhat doable aim. I mean, mine, mine was pretty horrible in this clip, but still, I mean, I felt amazing. So my final thoughts about this gun are hold off to get it. Don't immediately buy it once you unlock security level four. There's really no point. I would get it after a kid's playground. Or actually, maybe before that. I don't really know. It's, it's completely up to you. Or a Boris, it wouldn't be bad to use it on. Uh, or just, I don't know, get it added to your gun collection after you beat the game. Uh, I'm going to give this thing a final rating of 6 out of 10. It's pretty good at CQC. And also, I mean, it's an iconic gun. Just for that, I'm going to give it like an extra point or two. Uh, that's all I really have to say about it. I mean, it's not you're not going to get a ton out of a handgun. It's definitely not the best handgun, but I'll do more on that later.
also I'd like to mention now that I'm not going to do any more voiceovers in the rest of this video. I'm just going to let it play out. Uh, all it is is just me in the range hitting shots. So if you care to watch that, stay. If you don't, you can